you know, some girls like shoes. I do helmets. So yeah, I've been through most helmets there is. This one is broken. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I love helmets. I've tested out most of them. We've got steel, um, 3M, Petzl, Husqvarna, and cask. Hey Dribble! So today I'll be talking about the, the Protus Integral Operas Helmet, which is the one I use the most, because this helmet's got multiple certifications, meaning I can use it both on the ground and while climbing. So I tend to just stick with this helmet because then I don't have to switch back and forth, and I absolutely love wearing this helmet. So as you can see, I've got two of them. One standard, pretty normal helmet, and then my custom-made uh, helmet, which I love. But if you're not um, as awesome as me, no. If you don't like the customized look, you can just add a black visor or the plastic kind of glass looking visor instead. They also have one that's a bigger mesh. So if you prefer that, you can of course change. But with this helmet, you can order um, customized visors. So you can put on anything you like, the flag of your country, send it, um, yeah, whatever floats your boat. So I really like that option. I think it's fun and you can't see it. I don't know if I can show you that in any way, but when I'm wearing this visor, I cannot see the letters. So it's not like I'm going crazy working and um, seeing <laughs> send it backwards all day. It's really just not there at all. So it's exactly the same as when I'm looking through this busted visor. So yeah, what I like about this helmet is that everything is just so nice and easy. Um, you put it on and then press this down and it'll tighten around your head. And it's really, really easy to, if it's too loose or too tight, let me show you this camera here if I can. You can open it up here and then just press it in or take it out as much as needed and press it back in. Yeah, that's just really, really easy to change the settings. And it's not like you have to turn it back and forth um, every time you put it on. It's just like you got your setting and then just flip that up and down. So really, really easy to operate. You've got the ventilation holes up here and you can close that just by, if it will. You can close it like that and just press it back up. See if it will, there we go. Mine is just always open, but if you want to, you can just close it like that. Then another nice feature, if you keep the original uh, earmuffs on, is that you can press them into the helmet so, then, so that they're not in the way. Um, I really, really like that because we changed up the earmuffs on this helmet. We did it because we, we added the Bluetooth, uh, Pelzer Bluetooth system. But when I'm climbing with this, they don't fit inside the helmet. So every time I touch something, these just flip on and off or on all the time. So I just end up climbing like that, not hearing anything because I it just drives me crazy with this thingy flipping, um, being pressed in all the time. So yeah, I would definitely recommend staying with the original earmuffs so that you can press them in here, hide them inside the helmet and you don't feel them being in there. So it's not like they're in the way, um, they're just there. So really, really like that option uh, thing. That's awesome. And you just take them out and then you can flip them in like normal earmuffs. But that's pretty cool. So everything, as I said, is just really, really easy with the flips and flops and so on. And then I've got the glasses inside too, and that's pretty cool. Um, 
because it's really nice maybe I should just put it on and it's easier to show you what it is I'm doing so with the glasses in here I can just put them on whenever I need to I can press them in and out and angle them in different ways according to my face and then push them up when I don't need them so when it's raining a lot and you really can't see anything you can just push push them up and then do whatever you need to and put them back on when you're using your saw and I really like that option um, also I think the mesh here is a nice size not that much coming through and when I'm working with this helmet I don't really feel like I'm wearing a helmet and I don't really notice the visor either so I'll be walking around like this all day not really noticing anything so yeah I love this helmet and as I said the earmuffs are just nice easy to get back on and then it comes with this um, magnetic um, strap thingy so that's really easy to close and open too and now I'm sure I got nice helmet hair so that's good <laughs> um, what else if I wanted to change the visor that's pretty easy just press it out and add a new one like I've got a black one here just because the other one actually needs to be changed but as you can see it's just holes here so it's really easy just to change up and get a new visor on if you need to and um, same goes with the glasses you can just take those out um, they come in different colors too on this helmet I've got the clear glass easy um, I like both it kind of depends um, the sunglasses of course are nicer in the Sun I like working with shaded glasses when I'm in the tree but I might change here during the winter but yeah this is pretty awesome because you always have your glasses on and you can push them away when you don't need them also they've got this um, strap here in the front which you can take out and either clean or just throw away and get a new one really easy too so everything on this helmet is just made so user friendly and it's 920 grams of helmet on your head and I've heard some people say that they feel it's a heavy helmet but compared to all the other helmets that I've tried this one is the one I noticed the least so it might be more heavy I don't know I haven't weighed any of the others but I really don't feel like I'm wearing this like this is the helmet I can wear into the car and then notice when I'm inside the car I'm taller than I used to be and then it's because I'm still wearing my helmet and all the other helmets I'll take off as soon as possible on this helmet too as I said this is my customized helmet uh, it was made for me by Fana Austria um, they put my name here female lumberjack and then I send in a vector file for the visor and then they put that on there so that's pretty cool and you can order uh, your own customized visor and helmet um, I think you can do it directly through Fanner otherwise you can do it through I know uh, free workers got some customized visors already and they got some customized helmets as well stickers um, with different like logos or pictures it's mainly um, on this helmet the white parts because those are stickers so you can change that up for something else uh, I haven't seen anywhere else where they put anything on the actual helmet the black part here where they put female lumberjack um, so I don't know if that's only done directly by Fanner or you can get that too but I kind of like that I think that's really sweet as I said we changed up the earmuffs on this helmet and that was because in my company we had the three impulsor um, communication system so we needed different earmuffs for that I think we are going to change and try the the process um, communication system we haven't tried that yet and that is with the original 
earmuffs so I can press them back in and I'm looking so much forward to that. Um, what else can I say about it? Well, as I said, it's just, it fits really, really nicely and I love that you can adjust it in little bits at the time. And then if you, like me, have got a lot of hair, then it's nice to be able to just adjust it because for me it depends where I put my braid. If I start my braid up here, then my head is a little bit bigger. And if I have it all the way down like today, then it's smaller. So it's nice to just be able to adjust it really quickly. And also I've got a pretty small head and this helmet fits perfectly. So I think it's it fits a, a really wide range of head sizes, I guess. <laughs> So I would definitely recommend getting this helmet. As I said, it's by far the best helmet I've tried. Love climbing with it. Um, I do think that if you take off the visor, let me see if I can do it here. <laughs> Sorry, my sonar system just started playing. So I had to <laughs> turn that off. So as I was trying to say, it was really easy to remove the visor. But I do think that this helmet kind of looks a bit like it's like a, a weird eggshell um, something on my head if I'm not wearing the visor. I guess I could just wear it like this if I wanted to. But yeah, I think this lo looks weird. I like it with the visor on, so I'm keeping that. You can get this as a forestry helmet as well. The only difference is that they take off the straps. So it's just like hidden inside. Sometimes I like to do that if I'm in the forest. I don't wanna have that shit hanging in my face. So I'll just press it <laughs> into the helmet. And now I can't do it because I'm trying to show you. Let me just see if I can get it up there. So yeah, I like to do this when I'm working in the forest. I don't like the straps hanging down in my face. So I just press them into the helmet to get them away. But that's just my preference. But it's exactly the same helmet. And then you've got some protection in here. And um, uh, I guess it's for ventilation, the yellow thingy inside. But really, really a nice helmet. I cannot recommend this helmet enough. Um, if you're working as an arborist climbing and on the ground, this is perfect because then you don't have to adjust anything or change anything. You just keep on the same helmet. It's certified for both groundwork and climbing. So I really have nothing bad to say about this helmet. It's worth the money. It comes with so much different um, special equipment, like the customized visors, the shades, everything built in. It's just really, they thought about everything with this helmet. Yeah, so I don't know if we should call this a review of the Protus Integral um, Oprah's helmet, or just a quick look, or just me endorsing a product. <laughs> um, I really love it love everything about it and if you've got any questions regarding the helmet feel free to write me a comment or find me on facebook or instagram at female lumberjack and then i will gladly try to reply um, as good as i can i always wear my helmet um, it's one of the most important pieces of ppe that i've got and i wouldn't dream of working without it so please, people, be safe, and I hope you'll all wear your helmets when you're working. It is so important. You can still follow me on Instagram at Female Lumberjack and find me on Facebook at Felicia Back. I hope you enjoyed the video, and um, I'm having a great and safe day. And if you don't already, please subscribe to my channel. And you can always um, write in the comments if you've got any videos that you'd like me to do. And I'll try to do my best to accommodate your wishes. Um, and yeah, as you can see, it's getting pretty cold here in Denmark, so I hope you can still see me with the fogginess and uh, rain and sun and everything going on. So be safe, Treble. Have a nice day. See you soon.